All right, direct from the Big Rock Candy Mountain in Shenzhen, People's Republic of China. Looks like we got ourselves a brand new Internet 3D printer. Greetings programs, Atari here, you there, and if you enjoy 3D printing, hacking, making, and building goofy stuff around the shop, then go ahead and click that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the bell notification icon so you don't miss anything. And let's get started. Yes, right here, ladies and gentlemen, this is the ET4 FDM filament deposition modeling 3D printer from Anet. The fine folks over at Anet have sent me this review model to share with you and put it through its paces and see just how well it prints. So, without further ado, let's uh, put it through its paces. Now, you can see that it is already assembled here, so we're going to back up slightly, put you through a little bit of an assembly time lapse. And if you want to see more detail, of course, here is the link up here in the corner. The ET4 printer is actually very quick to assemble. It's two major modules that screw together and you're up and running, ready to go in about 10 minutes. All the electronics go together with these nice Molex plugs. All the wires are bound and covered correctly so that there's not a lot of detritus and nothing really bouncing around or anything like that. It's a very nice, neat, tidy design. So now that we're assembled, caught up now, let's get this thing ready to go. Uh, I've got a little bit of PLA that the printer came with, so let's turn her on and get it set up. Got main power on, got our nice 2.8 inch LCD touchscreen. This touchscreen is very responsive, so let's go ahead and test out the auto leveling feature. That movement is very smooth though. With the little auto-leveling sensor in place, the printer will automatically determine the Z-axis offset for 20 different points across the build plate, saving you a lot of time and hassle. Everybody's homed up, so let's go ahead and we're going to heat up the tool so that I can uh, put in a little bit of uh, filament. Now, while that's heating up, let's uh, take a look at a few of the other features. The Anet ET4 is an all-metal FDM 3D printer that is made with an industrial-grade chipset and parts that come mostly assembled. The ET4 features a 25-point auto-leveling function to make this tricky and time-consuming process so much easier. No worries about unexpected power outages with the ET4 because the ET4 can resume printing and recover from exactly where it left off when the power is restored. Additionally, the filament detection function of the ET4 enables you to print large objects without fear. The ET4 features an industrial grade chipset that allows more accurate, faster, and safer printing. ET4 powers off automatically when its protection settings are triggered, and it's protected with safety features like overcurrent protection, overload protection, over temperature protection, and an over temp warning alarm. And the ET4 now features a TMC2208 Trinamic stepper driver with 256 microsteps, allowing for the highest resolution printing and the quietest operational noise. Okay, well, that didn't take long. Um, so let's go ahead and let's see what we can do here. Uh, we'll go ahead and extrude. We're going to insert back here through the sensor and just feed it right there into the extruder motor. Okay, now that we've got it in. Okay, now we got her all set up, let's print something. I've got just a quick print benchy right here, ready to go. Oh, so, uh, it's just normal settings and let's see what we get. That is not a bad little benchy. Everything prints the way it should. The angles are correct. The overhangs are correct. The arcs print correctly. The circles print correctly. The holes, everything prints the way it should. 
And that's the mark of a good printer. Now, if I printed this on a much higher resolution, then yeah, it's gonna look sharp. But just a quick benchy print, just to get an idea of how this thing fares, this thing is doing pretty darn well so far, and it is definitely going to make its way into my workflow as I start printing more things. It is a great printer for the home gamer. At 200 bucks, you cannot really beat this. Solid metal construction, pretty decent sized build plate, glass build plate, no significant problems with the movement. Yeah, uh, great printer, good printing resolution, solid construction, runs on Octoprint. I can get pretty decent time lapses off of it. This is a good little machine, especially for the money. And you know, I think this thing would do really well against some of my higher priced competitive printers. So I think we're gonna have to have ourselves a little 3D printer shootout here pretty soon. So subscribe and don't forget to click the bell notification icon so you don't miss that. In the meantime, you got social media up over here. Here is a video that YouTube thinks you will probably enjoy and show notes are probably somewhere right around here. And there's like a playlist over there that I think uh, you ought to check out as well. My name is Atari and until next time, tally ho y'all.